Hey everybody, today is going to be a quick tutorial on how to create the neon glowing rings around a person um, in a photo. So I see this a lot on Instagram and I wanted to show you how to do it. I'm going to be using Procreate Pro on the iPad, but you can also use Procreate Pocket and it is free in the App Store for iPads or for phones, okay? I'm not sure about Android. Let me know down below if you know. But um, yeah, there's a free way to do this. So I'm gonna be using the Procreate app. I'm gonna open that up. On the top right, you're gonna go to photo and then you're gonna find the photo that you're gonna do this to. So I'm using a photo of Janine on the Apollo. If you guys don't know her, she's great. She's on YouTube and she's awesome. So you should check her out down below in the comment, or sorry, down below in my description box. I'm trying to rush through this a little bit too fast. I apologize. Okay, so what I like to do for whenever I do this is I like to match it to their outfit. I just think it looks a little bit more put together, but again, you can change it, the color to whatever you would like. To match the color, you just go ahead and click down. And it will save that color in the top right. If you wanted to adjust it, just go ahead into the top right and change it in there, okay? I did want to mention that this tutorial works so much better if you have a stylus. If you don't have one, I definitely recommend a stylus that I use. It is amazing. I found it on Amazon after trialing a ton of different styluses and it is amazing. It is so much better than the Apple Pencil and it is like a fraction of the cost. If you want to check that out, I will link it down below, but it, you can find styluses like even at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Target. But this one definitely will oh, step your game up. I love it. So that's what I'm using for the precision of this, but you can also use your finger. Okay, back to the tutorial. Go ahead into the brush and you're going to see the brush library here. On the left, you're going to have a bunch of different categories. You want to make sure you're in luminance and then you're going to tip, click on the light pen. Then you can kind of like test it out here. Check out the thickness. So if you want to decrease the thickness, go ahead and bring that down. I think that's a good thickness for me. You want to make sure that your opacity is all the way up. That's over here on the left where I'm dragging. Brush opacity all the way up. Next, you're going to go into layers, and you want to make sure you add an additional layer onto your stack, okay? So we have layer one, which is the photo, and then layer two is a new photo that you can't actually see, but you um, will use this just in case you make a mistake. You can always delete it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead in, and there are a couple of tips for how to actually make these circle rings. You want to make sure that it's kind of a wider circle. You don't want it to be very tight or else it's not going to look as nice and clean. So for instance, I'll show you one that I wouldn't recommend. Something that's a little bit tighter. You want it to be a little bit more wide. So what I mean by that is that the distance between here and here is wide and not really tiny. And that's because you're going to be deleting. And you can see how kind of there's a glow to this. You don't want the glows to overlap. So as long as the glows don't overlap, you are okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead here. I'm gonna start by creating my loops. Another tip I just realized I needed to mention is you wanna make sure that there's a little bit of overlap on the actual individual. So you see this part here and this part here all overlap the body. But for instance, if I went to draw a loop, you can see how there is a gap here and a gap here it's going to make it not look good so you want to try to avoid that so we're going to overlap beautiful try it again something like that something like that and then down here if there is a space between that you're going to overlap twice do an entire ring like that would be fine So now you have your loops created, go ahead into the eraser tool and you're going to head and zoom in. This is where the stylus really comes in handy, is that you can be very specific on what you're deleting. You want to kind of find that perfect edge of where it just hits the body. So I'm going to go ahead here, okay, something like that, perfect. And then here, you also want to make sure that you are deleting the kind of glow that accompanies it off of your actual body. So something like that. Okay, and then here, same deal. Okay. 
make sure it looks okay. Perfect. And then down here, this is where the cool part is, is that you're going to leave the part between the legs and just delete it off of the actual clothing piece. So where her leggings are, you're going to erase. And leave that part in the middle, and that way it looks like it, the loop is actually surrounding your body. You might need to take your time. I'm definitely not taking my time for this, just because I don't want this video to be so, so long. But I just want to teach you how you would, you would do it. You would just spend more time on this. Make sure that it's perfect. Okay. So that's how you delete it out. As you can see, it looks like the loops are kind of surrounding the body. I think it's a really cool edit and anybody can pretty much do this. If you guys found this helpful, let me know down below in a comment. Um, but in order to share this, there is a tip that I want to show you to get the highest quality photo. Go ahead up here to the wrench and then in the top menu, you're going to see a bunch of different options. You're going to go to share and you're going to go to PNG and then you're going to save that. That is going to be the highest quality image that you should use for Instagram or posting it pretty much anywhere. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, let me know down below in a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye.